Hello everyone, very fine. And here in this session, we are going to discuss one of the most important and interesting question of GATE CS 2022. The equivalent C code is given to you and you need to find, you need to figure out the equivalent output that is going to be generated by this C code. So if you are going to see simple line of code, header file, function declaration, and thereafter we are having some character variables. Character variable A is going to hold the P, the character P, that is uppercase. And character variable B is going to hold the variable X, it is lowercase. But you know that every character, every character in compiler in memory hold it by its equivalent ASCII value. So equivalent ASCII value of character P, that is capital A, its equivalent value is 65. And we need to add further a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, and T. So it is 15th from A. That is total 16, but already 65 we are counting. So I need to add 15. That is the ASCII value of uppercase P is nothing but 80. So we can write 80 as a 64 plus 16. That is 0, 1, 0, and then 1. And can write it like 0, 0, 0, 0. It is the equivalent binary code of capital P. Similarly, equivalent binary code of small x is 97 plus I need to add 23 character because it is 24th one including uh, A, right? So if we are going to calculate, it is 120. 120 is nothing but 0, 1, 1, 1 and further 1, 0, 0, 0, 2. So it is the equivalent binary code of this. So it is very important part because every time we need to perform the binary bitwise operation between A and B. This is A, this is B. Now character C is having bitwise end operation, character D is having bitwise OR operation, and character E is having right, bitwise ZOR operation. So let me try to do that, how to do this question. So let's go for this part. A and B, that is 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Ultimately, if we are going to perform bitwise end, what we are going to perform bitwise end operation. So the equivalent result would be 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it is nothing but you can see here that it is 64. What is uh, just a second? 0 and 1, right? If we need to perform bitwise end operation, so it is 1, 1, and for 80, it is 0, 1, 0, 1, right? It was 0, 1, 0, 1. It was 0, 1, 0, 1. So it is 80. Now what we are doing, we are adding the star value to it. What is the star value? That is equivalent value of star is 42. It means that 42 is a sky value of this star. So 80 plus 42, that is nothing but 120. And how to write 122? 122 can be written as how to write 122? 122 is 0. And this 122 is nothing but it is equivalent code of Z because if 122 is here and what we are printing character C is C here. So C is going to print 122 in character form. And if you are going to see 122 is equivalent to Z. So this C is going to print a small Z. However, in options, you can itself, here itself, you can ignore B, C, D. Because only Z is matching. But still, let me try to do the other part also so that the clarity would be more. right. Now, character C is going to print, it is going to print a small Z. That is uh, smaller case Z. Now, bitwise if I need to perform here bitwise operation between A and B, that is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, bitwise end. If you are going to see bitwise end would be uh, just like 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 1, 1. So ultimately, if you are going to perform bitwise end operation, it would be 1, 1, 1, 0, right? So ultimately, it is nothing but uh, I am getting here 120. And what I am subtracting the ASCII value of uh, minus subtraction, the ASCII value of subtraction is 45. So one, 
20 minus 45, that is 75. Now, 75 is equivalent to what? Because this is going to print here, percent C and D. D is going to hold that value, 75. 75 is equivalent to, uh, uh, what is the equivalent character of 75? That is K, capital K, upper case K. So here you can see K is there. Now let's try to solve for E, that is line number seven. Character E is going to hold the result of A to the power B. Now A to the power B, if you are going to solve, it is nothing but bitwise XOR, X -O -R, bitwise XOR. So we need to perform bitwise XOR between 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now if you are going to perform bitwise XOR, so you can get the equivalent result. You can get the equivalent result. Like, uh, you can get the equivalent result. Just uh, if you are going to see one one is also become zero here. One one will also become zero here. And uh, just a second, zero 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 zero, and uh, right now, zero one. It's one. One one is zero. One one again zero and zero zero one. Right. So zero. So if you are going to calculate, like if you are going to calculate the equivalent result of it, so zero, zero, and one will be there. So here it would be one, here it would be zero. So it is nothing but 40. And binary equivalent code of 40, zero, zero, one, zero. This result I am writing here for clarity. One, zero, 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 right. Now I need to add something. The ASCII value of plus, what is ASCII value of plus 43? So 40 plus 43, that is 83. Now, 83 is equivalent to what the, because we are printing it in the form of character, character, and here we are printing E. So it is capital S because uh, 83 is equivalent ASCII code of capital S. So capital S will be printed. So option A is the correct answer. Basically, they have asked here bitwise end operation, bitwise over and bitwise XOR operation and uh, we just need to subtract add, subtract and add the corresponding ASCII value of these symbols, which is already given in the question, as you can see here. So I hope the final answer would be ZKS, option A, and uh, each and every concept is clear here. Further, if you are having any doubt or any confusion in this question, you may ask. Till then, have a nice day. For more such kind of video solutions, do subscribe, stay tuned, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much, guys. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.